Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss expression number nine. So this will be the final number in the numerology series for expression numbers with the Pythagorean uh, theory. Um, so it's been a good series. I do, my personal opinion, people are asking me, I do more so believe in the Chaldean Vedic numerology, um, but they're very, very much similar. There's only slight differences um, that I'm going to be going over in future videos. But just to give you guys the only difference with the name part, is that the expression number, as I said, for, for the first few videos, what you do is you get your first, middle, and last name, add that all together at birth. That's your expression number in the Western side of things. The Eastern side of numerology deals with what you would call sound vibrations, which to me seems more realistic. And that just has to do with people that are whatever name you go by. Like my full name is Shem Roy, but people just call me Shem. So I'd have the vibration of 17 over 8 in Vedic numerology. Whereas in Western numerology, the Pythagorean would have a karmic debt number of 14. Both of which are, they make sense, but I do more so believe that the name that you go by most is probably more accurate. Um, but to discuss the Western side of things for the people that do believe in that one more particularly, if your first, middle, and last name add to the number 9, then you have an expression number of 9. 9 doesn't have any karmic debt, so it's just the number 9 we'll be discussing today alone. So nine is a very interesting number mathematically. Um, everybody does agree on this. Nine, when you add it to any other number, uh, becomes that number. Nine plus one is 10, nine plus two is 11. Uh, multiplying it, um, it becomes back nine again. Nine times two is 18, nine, nine times three is 27, nine. So nine is a very um, humanitarian number. It could become anything, and it's the final number out of single number, so you get to compound. So this stands for like completion, whereas the one was all about innovation. So the nine is very ideological. The nine shares traits with every other number, um, very family oriented, very loving, um, could be have some warlike nature, but for the most part, uh, people with number nine are nice. Um, you do have the planetary influence of Mars there. Um, so that does give you kind of a fiery temper. If somebody does I um, cross that boundary, you guys are very big on honor. So just watch out for that. I mean, just watch out for your anger in general there. Um, in regards to career and occupation, with the number nine, what we're going to get is people that are um, more so into like philanthropic sort of endeavors. So things such as um, being like um, into medicine, like doctor, nurse, um, therapist. Um, you guys can do entrepreneurship quite well as well due to your bold nature through Mars. Um, but for the most part, number nine is here to benefit humanity. So it'd be, if you guys are going to start an organization, it might be very uh, charitable in the sense that you'll look into things that can uh, benefit a lot of people as a whole. So you'll look into things such as like um, like a charity that's going to give out to people that are underprivileged, like things like cancer, um, impoverished people in third world countries. Nines are specialists at making sure that that money goes to the right place. Um, you guys are big seekers of justice, expression number nine. So you guys tend to um, really use your actions to bring forth justice so police is another very good job for you guys a lawyer judge maybe not defense maybe prosecutor but um you guys will be good for anything regarding um honoring justice as well in military for sure regarding some weaknesses for you guys though the nine is a little bit too devoted and that sense of justice can lead to very narrow thinking um, not everybody shares your belief system in regards to being a good good person in the sense of do unto others as they do unto me we like to think as humans that we all think in that way but it's very not true um nines definitely especially if it's an expression number think in this way where they think that okay if i do this to this type of person then they'll i'll expect the same from them as well but that's not the truth and the people that hurt you the most unfortunately would be family and friends so just be very careful as to who you're giving your heart to, where you're wearing your heart on your shoulders, and make sure you just guard your feelings in that sense. You guys more so resort to anger and not get depressed like twos, but still that sensitivity is there and you guys can easily be provoked into that anger. So just watch out for that. Um, finally though, in regards to if this is your expression number, remember your expression number is what helps you master your life path it's your natural tendencies your strengths and then your natural setbacks so i named the strengths and the setbacks there so if you are a nine what you want to do is watch out for those weaknesses try to eradicate them through just being disciplined through how you're thinking i'm um, understanding people and not judging them but labeling them based on how they are not what you want them to be and you should be quite fine if you look at things objectively and not too subjectively 
Um, another thing that you guys just got to watch out for is your ideologies. So um, a lot of nines have ideological thinking, like you'll get a nine that's obsessed with like Art of War or a nine that's obsessed with maybe the Bible, whatever. Not really spiritual in the sense, the nine, but it's more so of like a brain type of thing, a mindset that you guys will adhere to. And that mind state that you may be adhering to may cause a hindrance in relationships and in career. If you want to actually have a good life, the only number, this is the only number I'm going to give this advice to, more so follow your life path than your expression number expectations. And the reason I say that is because when you, like I said, when you add anything to nine, it becomes that set number. So the thing about it is if you are a life path six, and then you have an expression number nine, you naturally are going to have the nine skills of being like a humanitarian, being understanding. Those are not really lessons for you to learn. It's not a karmic debt number either. So there's nothing much for you to really learn there aside from putting that energy into the right place. What you do need to learn is your life path. Your life path is the highway of where you're going. I had a series on this right before that. And you need to focus on if it's like for say like a six, you're into artistic expression, creativity. You want to focus on how you can do that and then after you master life path six how you can then give back using the nine which you'll naturally want to do anyways so this is the only number i'd actually say the opposite for in order to master the expression number of nine i gave you the strengths and weaknesses that you'll naturally have follow that of course but more importantly than even all of what i said follow your life path the most because your life path is going to show you how to be successful with the nine, which is backwards. Every other number I said, use the expression number to master your life path. The nine, opposite. Follow your life path and you're going to master the nine um, sequentially as a result. All right. So that should finalize everything I have to say on expression number nine. Um, I am going to be covering um, soul urge numbers and personality numbers next. I want to also, just do a quick synopsis of the Pythagorean um, numerology chart as a whole, meaning not just the five core numbers, but like the transition periods, everything as well, uh, just so you guys know how that works. And you can have an understanding of the template of where it's coming from and so forth. Once I get over to that, I'm going to dip, dip back into astrology, get into the deacons, and then I'm going to get to Chaldean numerology and do details on that. So. The next three to four months is already booked, busy. I already have subjects that I'm even falling behind on. I should have been ahead already, um, but we're definitely going to get busy for the end of this year and definitely beginning of next year is going to be a lot of back-to-back -back videos, some of them twice a day. All right, so that should conclude this video, guys. But if you have any questions for me, again, please like or subscribe. If you want like a personal reading of any sort, um, my email is shem underscore roy at hotmail.com. I'll leave it in the description as well. But aside from that, guys, I'll let me. I'll be back.